In this video, we'll be working on all the basic tree climbing knots. So if you're somebody who's in the trade or you're somebody who's looking to be certified, this is a perfect video for you. Let's get to it. This is a figure of eight. It's a good stopper knot. So when you're climbing, your climbing hitch doesn't come out. The way you do that is you make a bite, you wrap around once and slide it through. Figure of eight stopper knot. Next, we're going to be doing termination hitches. It's a hitch that'll hold you in your saddle at the end of the line. The first one we're going to do is a double fisherman's bend. And to do that, you'll get your line through your carabiner. You'll go up and then you'll start wrapping downward. You go one, two wraps, and then you'll cross it and then go back through both. And you'll bring your tail up through. You want at least close to three inches of tail, you'll snug it up, tie dress and set it, you'll bring it to your carabiner, double fisherman's pin. The second termination hitch will be the anchor hitch. To do that, you'll place your rope through the carabiner, make one complete turn, go around the long part of your rope, and back in through the turn. You'll make sure you got at least three inches of tail, tie dress and set it, making sure the long part of your rope is near the spine of the carabiner. Anchor hitch. Next, we'll tie the bunt line hitch. To do that, I'll bring my rope through my carabiner. I'll bring it around the rope. I'll cross over. And just like a regular, if I was tying a clove, I'll cross back through. I'll grab this tail. I'll snug this up, showing me that I have a clove. And now I'm going to snug this up. To the carabiner. That's your blunt line hitch. Next I'll be tying a clove hitch using the end of the line. Sometimes you have to connect to something and this is a good connecting knot or hitch. So bring it around the tree. I'll put the short end underneath the long end of the rope. I'll pull it and I'll go back around the tree and I'll bring it right back through here. That's a clove hitch. Next, I'll be doing a bowline. It's a good loop knot to connect to like hooks and balls and things like that. So I'll make a loop in my line. I get the tail. I'll go up through the loop around the long part of the line and I'm back in to that loop. Grab both ends and I'll tighten it up. Having the tail inside of the loop. Bowline. To attach two ropes together, you can use a sheet bend. To do that, you grab a bite in the line that's in the air. Next, you'll get the other line that you want to attach. Go up through the bite, go around, and then above the bite, straight across. Now you grab both ends of each. You'll tighten it up and release. That's a sheet bend. Next one for attaching two ropes to send to the climber is a quick hitch. You'll make a bite in the climbing line. The rope you want to send, what you'll do is place a, a bite over. You hold it with your thumb. You place your hand through the bite, go underneath the other bite, and then bring your hand back through. You'll snug it up, make it tight. That's your quick hitch. And once the climber gets it, he pulls this piece and it comes undone. Knots that you tie in the middle of the rope are called midline knots. And they're good for sending things or so you don't have to use the end of the line. The first one I'm going to tie is going to be the clove hitch. To do that, you'll make a loop in your rope and then you'll go below and make another loop. Then you're going to pass one in front of the other. You'll attach it to your object. You're going to tighten it up. That's a midline clove hitch. The next one that I'm going to tie is the Alpine Butterfly. This is a good loop knot. Also, it's good for canopy anchors and a lot of good attachment um, to your midline. I'll do, I'll put the rope on my hand and then I'll wrap once, twice, having three loops. I'll cross the center one. I mean, the one on the right to the center the next one over that and then back through. 
tie dress and set it. That's your alpine butterfly. Next, we'll do foot locking ascending knots using a foot locking loop. The first one I'll tie is a Clem Heist. And what I like to do is I'll go to my line and I'll put a bite of the loop up on top. And now I'll wrap three times downward. One, two, three. Once I've done that, now I'm gonna get the bottom of my line, use the other bite and go through the top. Once I go through there, I'll bring it through. Tie a dress and set it. Make sure everything's in order. This is your Clem Heist. Next one we'll do is the English Prusik. Some people call it just the Prusik. What you wanna do is put your bite around the rope and then you're gonna feed through this bite three wraps total. This is one of the hardest ones for me. So I'll go one wrap. Here goes the second one. Pull that through. Now what I'm gonna try to do is keep them in line and close together. And now I have to put one more through in the center of the bite. Right here. You want to make sure they're all in order next to each other and tie dress and set it. And you want to make sure they're not crossing and everything's in order. This is the English Prusik or Prusik, whatever you prefer. Some rigging blocks using just an example sling, not a rigging sling. The first one I'll do is a cow hitch. And to do that, what you'll do is you'll put the pulley over your branch. You'll get a bite of line, go over it, go back over the branch, bringing the tail through that bite, snugging it up. And now what you're gonna do is a half hitch underneath the cow hitch, snug it up, stow it out of the way, cow hitch for rigging. The next one we're going to do is a timber hitch. A timber hitch is good for um, installing a porter wrap on the base of a tree. Also, you could install rigging blocks on spars. So to do it, what you want to do is throw your rope around the tree. You get your block or your porter wrap close to where you're going to catch it. You have that short end over this line. Now you're going to cross over. And what you're going to do is wrap your other line against the tree five wraps total. When you're wrapping, you have to make sure that the wraps are spanned over the length of the rope. This is your third, here's your fourth, and then here's the fifth. What you have to make sure of, this is the timber, what you have to make sure is these are spanned and they're not bunched up tight together because then your timber hitch will not work. And you come to this side here, this is a finished end. Another good rigging knot is the running bowline. And you'll do it just like the regular bowline where you make a loop in your line, except for instead of just using your tail, you're gonna bring your tail over the long part of your rope, back up through the loop, and around that same standing part that you were working on, you'll grab both ends of that tail and then snug it up, creating a loop around the long part of the rope. And now what you'll do is you'll pull it to where you want it to be connected. Another rigging knot is a clove hitch using the end of the line. So you bring it over your branch, you cross over, feed it right back through, finish it, you'll have the two pieces across and here's your tail. And if you're rigging, you want to at least do a half hitch to
to finish it and if you want more security bring in another half hitch a double half hitch would be good too there you go clove hitch using it at the end of the line for rigging well there you have it all the knots you need to know hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope it was helpful we do have videos with all these knots that we did on this video go check our channel out i'm sure you'll enjoy comment like and subscribe hit that notification bell if you like what we do and by all means share our video take care